Everybody's air conditioners are going to be going flat out in temperatures this hot. With temperatures again close to 100, the Texas grid is again close to record demand. When you combine extraordinarily high heat with extraordinarily high population, all those air conditioners are driving peak demand up. Energy consultant Allison Silverstein says renewables are a key reason the strain isn't creating outages. The solar is particularly important because when it's hottest outside, it's because the sun is shining. And it's growing fast. At the end of 2021, solar capacity was 70 6,600 megawatts. Now it's 17,000, more than double. That 10,000 megawatts is enough to power 2 million homes. The more different kinds of diversity we have of fuel supply, technology dependence of location, the better we are. The main reason solar power has grown so much is the cost to build and install panels has gone down exponentially, and they can also be installed in much smaller areas than large wind farms. We can't just keep adding population and adding generation. The most important resource that Texas is not adding is energy efficiency. Silverstein says efficiency, like better ACs and weatherized homes, are the real key to reducing demand and costs, along with automation, so demand doesn't peak all at once. Commercial customers are doing that every day. The demand flattens in particular hours when prices are highest because they have that capability. New gas plants are also coming online, but solar and wind are growing quicker than even demand. We have a record level of renewables operating in Texas today, and that's saving us extraordinary amounts of money for our wallets. In Dallas, I'm William Joy.